<laughs> Come on, baby. So wonderful timing. I always have wonderful timing. Hi. Okay. I thought I'd make a video on this. Maybe I can make more kind of videos similar to this. But I was on Facebook and I follow a thing like died in the house or something like that where it showcases houses that are for sale that people were killed in essentially. And one of the questions was, would you buy a house that used to be a funeral home? Now the question is, would you buy a house or live in a house that used to be a funeral home? Me personally, no. But something that I didn't know until I was older, until like some years back, was that my dad's parents' house at one time was a funeral home. And knowing that now, it makes a bunch of sense as to why the basement was the way it was. I don't know if they lived there right after it was a funeral home or if people lived there before. I don't know. I don't know when. It had to be a long, long time ago that it was used as what it, that was because I couldn't find any records of it. And the house has since been torn down because the people that moved in after my grandparents destroyed the place. So it was bulldozed. But the house itself was extremely spooky. So, so spooky. I mean, just like the normal living quarters, like the kitchen, upstairs, all that was creepy. But the basement, the basement was big and there were like tables like permanent kind of like kind of like what what you would find in chemistry class those kind of tables get back here but like those kind of tables like sturdy like built-in tables and there you know there were slabs I don't, I don't remember how many there were there was a decent amount and there was also was a um a bathroom down there too but knowing that, yeah, that's where they used to prepare the bodies. And I'm guessing the living room or maybe the kitchen where all that, that was that was probably the room for the showing. Now that's also, there was also like kind of like really big sinks down there too. At least one big sink. And yeah, it makes sense from what I can remember. Given I was a little kid when they died. But what I can remember, yeah, it was a creepy basement, but now with the spooky things that happened there. I talked about it in a video of Butters, I believe, a while ago, about I saw a little girl in the house. Like, from their, um, I wasn't, like, pretty much the entryway, entrance into the house, which was pretty much the kitchen. And it was separated, you know, a doorway, but there was like one of those little, a, a window, a kind of like a little square window thing, separating the entry, like, kitchen area from the living room. And then from the living room, next to the living room, my, it was like a little sitting room my grandma had that nobody used. And that was, um, closed off by glass doors. Well, I was standing in front of, like, the, of the little window thing so and I was looking into that way and I saw a little girl standing like in that room or she was reflection off the glass I don't know but she had like pigtails if I remember and like a sundress on and I was probably about five six ish but I remember telling my mom that she was like oh you just saw your reflection and I was like no, I didn't. There's no way it was my reflection because, like I said, I was looking through the square. So if it was my reflection, you would just saw my head. You would not have saw. I would not have saw a full body person. Plus, for, as far as I know, I wasn't wearing a dress that day, nor was my hair in pigtails. And from what I remember, the girl kind of had like a strawberry blonde hair. So there's that. Now that I'm older, I sit there and I, I sit here and I wonder. 
could that have all been my imagination being a little kid i don't know but that is that um my grandfather he was taking a nap on the couch one day and he woke up to a woman i don't know if she was actually just standing over him looking or if she was actually like floating above him but either way there was like apparently a woman he woke up and was looking at him as he was sleeping um they had these little um touch lamps which those things can be touchy you know finicky but it those would you know go on and off on their own so that could have been anything that could have been something touching it or it could have just been electrical or they were just funky and then my grandmother would wake up every morning smelling coffee she did, did not own a coffee maker. And this was after my grandfather had died. She would smell coffee every morning. She did not have a coffee maker. So, but I never think that I'm pretty sure there was more stuff that they never told me, and I'll never know about now. Yeah, but after they died, my dad wanted to move us into that house. My mom was like, "Ew, no, no, thank God." The house was creepy. I mean, given it was smaller than the house I grew up in. I'm so happy we didn't move in there. <gasps> now, my dad didn't grow up in that house, so. That's a house. I mean, he lived there. But they didn't move into that house until he was older. So, he didn't grow up in that house. So, there's no childhood stories of creepiness that happened there. Uh, yeah, and that's my story about the living in it. Oh, I didn't live in it, but the funeral home living. I don't know if I even spent the night there. Probably not. I don't think I ever did. But my grandma used to watch us all the time. And my parents were working. Hmm, good times, good times. But would you live in a home that used to be a funeral home me no i wouldn't or would you buy a home knowing that someone passed away in there because you know who knows they could be still lingering around as for me i don't know if i would do that knowingly i mean i guess it would probably depend on how they died obviously i'm not gonna move into a house where someone was murdered of course, they also had a um, dog, Roscoe. He was a Shih Tzu. I don't know if he ever reacted weirdly or not. He might have. I don't know. Again, I was a little kid. But that reminded me of uh, another weird story I could share. About one year, we stayed with my brother and his ex-wife in their apartment and it had a lady die in it previous some time back that I had some weird happening on <gasps> but yeah please do tell me any of your paranormal stories if you grew up in a haunted house or are living in one <gasps> I like hearing spooky tales Great. Alright. And it's a little butter bean. It's a butter bean. Ah! Did you protect me from all the ghosties? Of course. There's no need to necessarily be afraid of ghosts. They're just, they were people too. We have some nice ones. We get some nasty ones. You get a barrel full of everything. Yeah. Thank you for watching. <laughs>